All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here, of course, for Ruby Volume 5, Chapter, Chapter 12. 12, The Vault of the Spring Maiden. Uh-huh. And oh, uh, carrying off boy. last episode with yep. Weiss uh, mm -hmm. being a little bit of a shish kebab. Um, yes. Th this, that means we're get probably going to get Jean's Semblance Jean's as semblance. some way to save her. Uh, yes. Probably healing. Yes, uh, my my initial thought from the previous episode was some kind of uncontrollable like release of aura, like he does with Cardin. Right. Uh, that might also kill Cinder as well as Weiss. Well, it might do basically not the same thing as the uh, Silver Eyes. The Silver Eyes, mm -hmm. but in a way that is just an uncontrollable giving of you know the positive effects of aura. Sure. And I think that would be a cool way because I think they described. Uh, a long time ago, like someone was asked, "Is John's semblance healing?" And they're like, "No, it's not." But you have seen it before, right? And yeah. I think that that part with Cardin is the only part where we could have technically seen his semblance. He actually has time rewinding, and it's yeah, just yeah, no, I, I please <laughs> let it not be that. But also, we saw Hazel in the thumbnail. We did. He looks really angry, mm -hmm. and he we does. know that Ozpin mm -hmm. has some history with him. Yep. And he so, revealed himself to Lionheart. Yes. Yes. So, so. I'm guessing we're going to get some Hazel <laughs> Oscar <laughs> uh, fight. Also, in particular, cool. uh, since it's going to the vault, mm -hmm. Raven and Vernal, Vernal and Cinder are probably are going probably to be at odds with each other. Yeah, because they're all the people that have the the mission, essentially, right. for the, the relic yeah. itself. I could but, see Emerald and Mercury maybe going with her. But Emerald and Mercury going with them, I think, puts them in a little bit of an outclass thing. The main reason why right. is because uh, Vernal and Cinder are probably going to throw down yes, as, that is know, going as to a be maiden awesome. fight. But yep. the thing is, is that uh, Raven, in particular, is the one that wants the relic. Right. So does that mean she's going to beat Crow? Who knows? Yeah. Yes, uh, we'll just have to see. Yeah, it could get a little bit, it could get a little bit dicey here. Uh, indeed, I I hope it does. Yeah. <laughs> all so. right. So without further ado, let's get into this episode and uh, see how it all goes down. Wise. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we go. Zinner's just so full of herself. She just oh, doesn't yeah. care. Absolutely. Yes, people people mm -hmm. can die if they are killed. That is, that is how <laughs> yes, this, they can. That's how this universe works. Yeah. There's no time to mess around. Oh, ah. you just <laughs> oh 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 yep yep. Doctor Mind the Hazel. Get up! We need you. Oh crap! You letting that boy make a fool of you? <laughs> that boy it's is Ospin. Ospin. boy. It's Ospin. Oh, so yep. reincarnated. Oh! <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Yep, that's the cave. Uh huh. Ospin. Oh. Oh boy. The one person Hazel really wants to kill. Yeah. Uh, you. Ospin! Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my gosh! You thought. You could hide from me! Whoa! Whoa, what? The crow's like, this is new. You what? Pay for what you do. <gasps> you oh! Over. He's gonna stab it into himself. Yeah! Oh my oh. gosh! And have we ever seen gold dust before? Oh my gosh! Wow! Okay, the boss enraged. Do we yep. fight? No. Run. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like Bane, basically. Yeah, he is Bane, basically. Yeah. Ospin is here. Is that a problem? I'm not sure, but right now we've got the upper hand. Let's not waste it. Leo, open the path to the vault. Okay. All right. Cool. So Hazel will be keeping them busy. Yeah, Hazel alone seems like a real oh, problem yeah. right now. Yes. I don't even know if Crow could take him. Oh, of course it is. Right. Of course it is. Yang, do something. Yeah. I mean, come on. Are you really? Oh, it's Stop your sister them. and Weiss. Got your team covered. 
Okay. Yeah. You want to yeah. get to them? You're going to have to get through all of us. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's no, beautiful. Gang, gang is going to destroy them. Like, it's going to be Brent, tough, but... Talk to me. This is bad. Yeah, this is bad, dude. You gotta, you gotta oh, do no, something, no, man. Not again. Weiss, come on, please. Make sure they leave Ruby alive. This won't take long. Okay. Yeah, here we go. The three uh, powerhouse ladies all going into the. Uh, yep. All going into the vault. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna end well for no. for, for for Cinder for, for, no. for at least at least one of them. Oscar, yeah. I told you no. Oh jeez. Uh, Please let me take over. I can handle it. Oh. You told me I needed to fight for myself. This is not the time. So I will. This is not your fight. What does that mean? Why is he so upset with us? He didn't tell you my tale, did he? Oh, his voice is altered. I thought you looked familiar. Oh, he could tell he back then at the uh -huh. train. I you when our paths first crossed. Your blood won't be on my hands. It will be on his. <laughs> Yeah, Crow and uh, um, Oscar the, the, versus. Uh, what was he talking about? Tell him, Austin. Tell him how you killed him. Whoa. Her? Gretchen Reinhardt was Hazel's sister. Despite her brother's wishes, she enrolled at Beacon Academy to become a huntress, and okay. tragically lost her life on a training mission. Oh, Hazel I thought holds me responsible. Yeah, I thought they were gonna say that she was a maiden. Let me fight. Uh -huh. I know Hazel. He's wounded in a way that cannot be healed. You know now. Oh, you can forgive me for what I'm about to do. Did she know? Did she know the risk of being a huntress? She was only a child. She wasn't ready. Oh my she God. made a choice. A choice to put others before herself. So do I. And you've chosen death. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Good. Good. Forcibly doing it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I. I don't know what we can do. Oh, he's got a finger on her pulse. Okay. But she's losing. Oh, no, it's right. supposed to be like this. Please. Do it, John. Do it. We can't lose anyone else. Here we go. Here we go. It's a sound. Mm -hmm. It's yep, a sound. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a sound. Mm -hmm. It's white. And now, yep, it's white. And now, yep. Uh huh. Yep. 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 Oh so, my gosh. So so. <gasps> right. So it's uh, like it's some kind of healing thing. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but it's but, aura. But yeah. But that looks like aura. Yeah. So. Are you nervous, girl? Oh. The first maiden in. Why? Well, I'm not sure anyone knows how many years. <laughs> is about to open a vault. I would say it's quite an exciting time. <laughs> Don't you feel honored? Oh my gosh. No, I'm not concerned with any of this. All I care about is my tribe, my family. This is a burden, not oh. an honor. Nice. Voice acting is on point. Well, you've yeah. conditioned her quite well, Raven. <laughs> oh shoot. What is that? Some kind of some kind of tree? Yeah. Is that dust? It might be dust, yeah. No, they look like flowers. They look like flowers. Okay. That would be crazy, though, a <laughs> dust tree. <laughs> it's uh, part of the self-destruct sequence, just in case, you know, people that aren't supposed to be mm. here get in. Gotcha. It's certainly grander than beacons. I wonder what the extra effort was for. <laughs> Was that a meta reference about? Yeah, yeah. Can we please not linger. <laughs> we gotta talk. About that. that was a funny, I think, meta reference yep, about the yep. visual uh -huh. upgrade that Ruby has gotten since yes. Volume Three. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Yep. Yep. That is amazing. You genius people at Kruby. Oh my gosh. Jeez. How do they stop this thing? Does he tire out or? I don't think so. Oh. Okay, it's a 2v2 now. Oh, all right. Yeah, this is... Leo Go is, down, Leo. Yeah, Leo's, Leo's got nothing. Yep. 
<laughs> David and Goliath much? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, nice! Oh my god, yes! Unfortunately, he's fighting with a cane. Like, does that actually Aura. hurt Hazel? Aura. Well, yeah, but still. Oh! Combo! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is great! But it's going too well for him right now. That's what you see, he's just faster. Hammer and tongs. Man. Yeah, and one mistake is all it takes. Oh. <gasps> Dang. What? What's, what's happening? Why is... Uh, you're using your semblance. That's, yeah, that's, that's what's happening. That, that is what is happening. What happened? What's going on? I think she's going to be okay. She seems to be stabilizing. <sighs> Whoa. All right, Ruby, yeah. help your sister. Yeah. yeah. Regroup, regroup, uh -huh. reform, let's do this. Oh. That's gotta get annoying after a certain point. Nope, 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 it's a mirage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice moves, Mercury. So Ruby will take on Emerald, right? <laughs> now, Hazel's okay. turning up the gas. Oh, oh, oh! 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 Crap! Whatever you're doing, don't stop. I won't. Good. I'll yeah. Help. I'm on it. John and Weiss still need cover. No one's gonna touch them. Okay. okay. Make it happen, Ranger. Yeah, Ranger. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, there oh, we nice. go. Nice! Uh, yeah, the, yeah. It's the Bollywood trailer pose! You okay? No. No. I'm angry. Oh! <laughs> oh! Wow! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Whoa. It does look like some sort of dust. Is that the relic? No way. No, no, no. It's like a hidden little piece of a flower petal almost, but... Having fun? Oh. Renal, stay focused. Oh, come now, Raven. Let her enjoy this. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Mm. And by that, I mean I'm going to kill her as soon as yeah. she opens it. How does yeah. this work? Yeah. Once the Spring Maiden places her hand on the door, it will open. For you, and only you. <clears throat> then I will walk into the vault and retrieve the relic. No one else. Is that clear? Notice how Raven's standing yes. behind everyone. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter to us. Yep. Let's get this over with. She got her hand on her... Uh-huh. All right, then. Yeah. Well, Vernal, what if... when you're ready... What if when Cinder went in there, they just locked the door? <laughs> I don't know if they could, but that would be kind of genius. I think she could break through if that was the case. Well, but if she could break through, she could break through now. Uh, but maybe not. Oh, yep. Yeah. Raven is... You know, oh. I've heard so many stories about you, Raven. Oh. They say you're a cunning leader. That you're strong. That you're clever. Do it right now, because as soon as that door opens up, Cinder's firing. It's a shame that they're wrong. Oh! 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 Wait, no! wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's her grim arm! Oh! I was talking about this yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. volume Perfect, four! Dear. You're just not worthy of such power. Oh! But I am. Whoa! It's not gonna work that way, though. Yeah. So yeah. I will take what is mine. Jeez. Oh. Oh. What is this? Yep. Where's the power? Uh-huh. It's right there. You won't find it. Because Vernal isn't the Spring Maiden. What? <laughs> I am. 
Oh my god! <laughs> I thought it was gonna transfer, but no, but no, she no. always was. Uh huh. Oh my god! All right, all right. Wait, wait, this this is good stuff. It is. It is quite good. It's uh, Cinder's corruption. Holy crap! Okay. okay. So. Whoa. So we've got a maiden that can teleport. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> from the standpoint of what what Raven's whole character has been based around thus far is called into question. Yes. Because of this deception. Uh huh. Um, and that's she's she is protecting the tribe with her Spring Maiden abilities. Right. And it's not that she's protecting the Spring Maiden, it's that Vernal is actually her guardian. Vernal uh, is pretending to right. be the Spring yes. Maiden yep. mm -hmm. so that when people right. exactly. come to the tribe, right. she gets all the kind of, ooh, uh -huh. yeah, it has to be her. Yep. But the now I'm thinking back, there are times when oh, Vernal yeah. uh -huh. used like lightning when Weiss and Yang were at the yeah, camp. Yeah, so what... That what was Raven, heck? apparently, yeah, all it, this time. Right. And Raven was just hiding her eye powers behind the mask or something? Uh, sure. Like, that, could, that could be like, why she has the mask, yeah. Um, like, she she wears the mask in particular because in case her powers actually, like, release and come out. Right, it's it's all behind the mask and, yeah. and it's all good. So That's, so, that's but, a great point because we've never actually seen... Vernal's eyes flare up. Have right, we? we haven't. We um, also uh, had another thing that was a little bit confusing was um, Leo Lionheart in particular mm -hmm. um, had said that the Spring Maiden left before she could um, before she could you know do her training and stuff. Yeah. So if Vernal was that young girl, um, where? Sure. How do you think that? Well, about okay. her being the spring maiden. Right. Well, I, if... I here's here's my thought uh -huh. is that no one actually knew what the spring maiden looked like. Uh, right. Oh, that's right. And and that's what it probably right. and what it probably was maybe Raven killed the previous spring maiden. Oh, sure. Like that could have been something that, that been happened. It. Yeah. Um, we don't know. There's. There's, oh my gosh, there, there's so many ways this could go yep, now. Because yep. if she's the Spring Maiden, she was not necessarily, like, doing anything negative towards Vernal, like, trying to use her in any way. No. I think, if anything, Vernal was taking the risks upon them of yeah being the one here, but... Especially uh, with the whole thing of, like, going up to touch the door, like, Cinder would have found out very quickly. Right. But um, I think I think there's a, there's a thing where Raven and Cinder both believe different things. It's that... Raven thinks they're maybe a little bit safe from treachery immediately from Cinder because Cinder can't Doesn't gain have multiple. The, yeah. I don't think she can gain multiple maid powers, maiden powers, according mm -hmm. to Raven. But Cinder believes she can. And I think right. that's why the Grim Arm is there. Yes, it is actually the one holding all the powers. It is sure. not. It is not Cinder in the Volume Four part where. Mm -hmm. Salem is giving her treatment. Right, right. It was like there was something inside of her that she was mm -hmm. like, like speaking that grim, to like whatever. that grim bug. That was exactly. like an incubator for her yep. to be corrupted and right. have the power to yep. be the enforcer, like the Darth Vader uh -huh. of Salem's mm -hmm. uh, emperor. Which, so, so that I think that almost so, confirms Cinder could have multiple maiden powers at at once. Um, yes, and and what this also does very conveniently. Mm -hmm. Is it takes both the maidens, yep, and it puts them underground in a sealed chamber where they can duke it out with <laughs> full awesomeness. None of this using fire infused swords and spears. No, there will be all of that. In oh, all there the will above. be all of that. But it'll but be like the Ozpin. It will be like the Ozpin Cinder, Cinder fight, fight that we exactly. didn't get. Right. It will be. It will be the, them using maiden powers like Cinder did against Pyrrha. Right. Yes. It'll be all of that crazy epicness. <laughs> Without them needing to worry about killing characters and just incinerating them, because that is what would have right. happened if that had you if know, that had gone happened down. in the main courtyard area yeah, exactly. of, that, of that building. Um, oh right. my gosh! So, but uh, that's that's just one of the crazy reveals this episode. We have Hazel and Jean, but let's talk okay. about Jean. So Jean's Jean's, Jean's semblance is isn't, not necessarily it's not really a reveal. It's not really no, no no. It's not really a reveal. But my point is is that we knew it was coming. Yeah. But we don't necessarily know exactly what it is yet. Right. We know that he is um, 
His hands are glowing white. And right. we know his aura color is white. Yep. We've known that all this time. Right. And we know that they're, that it looks like he's restoring Weiss's aura somehow. Now, is Weiss's right. aura also white? No. No. As far as we know, Weiss's aura... Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. is. So so that might be Jean's aura or that might be Weiss's aura. We're not entirely sure. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it's Jean's because okay. the color effect on mm. Jean's hands right. is the same effect that's on Weiss's body. Sure, yeah. And okay. Weiss right. is dying. Right. I think what it could be is an example of like uh, essence transfer, like aura transfer. Sure, yeah. Basically, he's taking his life force, which he has sure. a ton of, right, and, and giving it to someone giving else. Giving it to someone and else. And, and, and the reason why this is great is because when we when people would originally talk about the idea of Jean Semblance being healing, right. they're like, that seems kind of silly because Aura seems to already do that. Right. right. If that was the yeah. use of Jean's uh, semblance before, the little scratch, you know, healing up. Right. Then that seemed kind of... Mm, yeah, can't. but if it's but if it's something to do with the manipulation of aura, right. that's extremely OP. That is extremely OP. And that's a, usually and an ability that they give to like like oh yeah. like yeah. bad guys almost. No. Oh, like I am like uh, yes. Jean could be the give and take of mm -hmm. the Ruby universe. Yep. Yep. Like what if yep. he touched someone and he took their aura? <laughs> if he can transfer <laughs> into someone. Yep. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's be, maybe under... that's the simple evolution is that right. he has control over his own aura. But he could go like Darth Nihilus on. He somebody. could go Darth Nihilus yeah. on someone and uh -huh. just drain them of yep, their yep. own aura. And imagine, okay, whoa, 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 whoa! What, I had what? a picture of like a Mustang-style revenge scene. Okay, where he's got Cinder, both hands on her face, draining, and draining, draining her, her, like just. You know what? Actually, you know, actually, no. You know why this is better than that? Um... Cinder has been corrupted by Grim. Mm -hmm. What do Grim not have? Aura. Right. What would happen if Jean not didn't take away her aura? Oh, he, he flooded her. He flooded her with his aura. The Grim part of her would just die. Disintegrate. Dis just dis disintegrate. Okay. Into nothing. Okay. All right. Yeah. That, that would that would be pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, and that would be a much more poetic end because yes. let's say let's say Cinder's not fully corrupted by that point. Like I, I have sure. the idea that Cinder is actively being corrupted right now, yeah, I, and she is trying to basically <laughs> stave it off with the maiden powers. And yeah, some she's way. trying to have her cake and eat it. Like, yeah, it's not going to work. It's for not going to work out. Like, I could see it going. Like, the the farthest I could see it going is like Akira, like Tetsuo transformation. Yeah, possibly. And that would be ridiculous. And then but, but we've always wanted to see a grim human mm -hmm. yep. hybrid. Yep. And Salem, we, we, we've assumed, is something like that. Right. But it seems like she's more along the lines of a perfect being exactly. kind of thing rather, than, a, the grim, rather yeah. than the experiment she's, she's hybrid. She's the Borg you know? queen. She's not actually the, the hybrid. Yeah. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, she could be, but it, she's, not the, she's not the imperfect hybrid that Cinder is right now. Right. And yeah. if Cinder... And Jean had a fight, and Jean just overloaded his aura over, like, through whatever mm -hmm. connection they had. Uh, she could be left with the husk of her humanity oh, yeah. left over. They, and it would be oh, a thing of, like, yeah, yeah. oh, okay. It would, now, do you want me to heal you? Sure. Like, or I'm just going to let you, sure. you know, yeah. sit here well, and suffer. Here's here's what I can see it potentially being is, okay, mm -hmm. if they wanted to, they yeah. could pull like an Aang versus the Fire Lord thing. Right. Where basically, the instead of, it wouldn't be like her, her aura goes away, but uh, basically, sure. I mean, her aura may already be gone at that point because she's like That's so close point. to fully grim. Mm -hmm. But if the grim parts are basically destroyed and maybe she loses the maiden powers because of that, okay, and then the maiden powers could... They would have to transfer to someone else, and yep. Cinder thinks about Ruby an awful lot. An awful lot. An awful yeah. lot. Um, so that, yeah, yep, yep. Oh man, I I don't it, it I don't know how this is gonna go, but I feel like this episode gave us more for world building than it actually did for the story, because the story sure. is now dramatically racing towards a very specific conclusion. Yes. But right. because it's in a conflict state right now, mm -hmm. we don't know exactly where it's all going to end up. Yeah. It's kind of like the little uh, description thing they give here. In fact, let me bring this up. It's uh, uh, it's clear that the stage for the next great battle for Remnant has been chosen. The question is, with so many players in this game, who's going to come out on top? Right. That kind of question mm -hmm. is basically the the 
the format the of premise. sorts. Yeah, for yeah. the entire uh, right. latter half of this season. Yep. So, and and yeah, John Semblance having some kind mm-hmm. of uh, or a transfer or, or whatever a transfer that is, type thing is they will oh my do gosh. some very cool things with that. That yeah. is so much better than just simple healing. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Rooster Teeth, for uh, doing something that makes perfect sense. But also uh, is a little bit of a ooh, ooh right. They're not way. taking the easy way out. They're not taking the easy way like, out, and like, I think that's yeah. that's the thing is they've already they've always known what Jean's semblance would be, right? Because I feel like that's the kind of thing that even Monty Monty had everyone's I think semblances mm-hmm. uh, d- detailed out a long time ago. That's the kind of thing I feel like. Yeah, he Monty would've, Monty would have been like, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got that stuff all for the na- first nailed ten down. seasons or whatever. Right, but then for like new characters, that's where they can come up with, uh, you know, other creative semblances and right. such. But with Jean's being this, it feels so perfect because it it makes us in a way that we thought about the healing would, but even worse, mm-hmm. he could have actually, if he had his semblance, been a really big help to Pira. Yep. Like, and can you imagine Jean being the yep. support oh, yeah. to oh, he, yeah. his whole team and basically and, refueling mm-hmm. them? And that's great because that's something that I've always wanted to see. Yeah. Like, something that, a, an, a semblance that is specifically geared around, like, teamwork. And right. And Renz kind of is that. Yeah, but Renz is a t- utility but, thing that gives them uh, an added perspective right. on the fight or an added boost, yeah. but it doesn't actually... It doesn't directly support. Right. It's, and the thing is, it could also be something that he uses to help himself. Uh, yes, that's so, true. Whereas Jean's, I don't think he can really help himself. Right. Yeah, he unless, already has the aura. Unless, unless he, he can, can take aura. Unless, unless he can take aura. Which, and that, which, that would be... <laughs> can I can I bring something up real quick? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If, if we're going to say that he's used this semblance before... Right. He didn't give aura to Cardin. He didn't no. give aura to Pyrrha. No. He didn't give aura to anyone the, the Grim, really. you know, or anything yeah. like that. So did he so, take aura? So did he from take already? aura from someone that's, already? That's that's And is that I'm maybe wondering. why he has so much? It's the idea that he's constantly been like just maybe. seeping off of like people. Hmm. I don't know about the constant part, because I feel like it would be more in those stressful situations where it just happened. And the only time where we've seen that white kind of light mm-hmm. come from him is when Pira unlocks his semblance. Oh, oh, And oh, when Cardin okay. and no. him, uh-huh, when Cardin uh-huh. punches him. Yep, yep, yep. Here's a crazy thought. Okay. What? When Pira unlocks his semblance, yeah. right? There's the whole thing of the scratch healing and you have a lot of it and stuff like that. But what's oh. the first thing that Pira does? She's like she's, tired. Yep, she's, like, she's tired. Oh, so, so. shoot. <laughs> Guys, Jean and Pira are together forever already. Oh, her soul oh. is already like partly okay. like absorbed into his. Oh my gosh! And I mean, and that's one way we could have looked at it was the idea that I use some of my energy to unlock yours. That's why she says it in right. the exactly. in the show. Yep. But, but there could be that added <laughs> semblance to it <laughs> yeah. where <laughs> no, it's not just that he uh, he used he took some of it. he used some, some some of his semblance and there was an exchange. Right. In that maybe he could have, like, yep. not only in her giving him some of her aura, mm-hmm. uh, he actually, like, received and, like, like ingested, essentially, some of it. What do you mean? Like, like some of her aura, mm-hmm. like, went into him. Like, sure. not just being used. Like, she didn't just light oh, up. Oh, gotcha. She actually, there was an exchange of energy. Well, so, so I think here's the big question. Is it a permanent or a temporary transfer? We don't know. Like, is it a one-time use thing where, like, you get this little boost of aura or whatever? Uh, or is it, like, no, some think of about their, like, like force think has about, been... Think about, like, mana really... points or health points in a video game. Sure. Like, yeah, yeah. That's once what I you're think given back to it, it ends up being used for whatever... So let's say Weiss, right. Weiss is in a negative 50 health per second state. Yeah. Jean basically gives her enough aura to outlast the duration on the negative 50 sure. health per second yeah, debuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I think it ends up getting used. Okay. It's not a thing where he is a found source of unlimited no, you no, know, no, no. aura. No, no, no. I'm not talking like about that. that. I'm talking about if, say, Jean gives or takes 10% of someone's aura, is that a permanent change? No, I don't think it's a permanent change. Okay. Because I think that the way they describe it is that aura is kind of like 
unlike health points, it's more like magic points. So it's like mana points. So it's constantly right. regenerating. So Jean That's, is the paladin. Like he can. Jean he is can, straight up he, the paladin. He can. He can use his divine aura stuff. Yep. Charge it into his weapon theoretically or whatever when he hits somebody or you yep. know, whatever he wants to do. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So all right, this will be okay. Yeah. Um. And that's that's crazy because yeah. I, we've always known that Jean was going to be strong, mm -hmm. but with having this be his semblance, they actually need to be very careful here now because yes. they yeah. because they gave a reason why people could not die when they get sort of killed, you know? Right. Like Jean's no, not going to yeah, bring people yeah. back to life. I'm sure. No. Guys, we're not seeing. We're not going to see Pira no, like, reanimated no. or anything. Like Besides, that. he'd need a, to collect her ashes. <laughs> and um, he'd have to excavate the stuff from Ruby's lungs and you know all yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And get stuff from Cinder's hair. And, yeah, you know. yeah. You know. Um, but, <laughs> but, but yes, they need now. Now the the advantages of this yes is that they're basically saying because they've set it up in in this season and and the last or volume and the last volume right is that um aura doesn't let isn't quite as good as it used to be like it, well, it's it's going out faster which means that there's more likelihood that people could be getting hurt in battles as opposed to just comic they get knocked around and stuff. well there's there's that but i think it's more of the difficulty of enemies has gone up uh, sure the, the sure, type absolutely. of attacks that they're dealing with the type yeah. of foes that they're dealing with not are going to cause more damage random faceless white family right. members yeah. exactly jacob so Which, i don't think it's that i don't think it's that aura has been nerfed in any way i think it's that the mechanics of aura are sure. getting more clearly defined yeah. and jean is actually make sure it's clearly defined yeah exactly yeah. and jean is an John is an active medium within the story to right. communicate stuff about Aura mm -hmm. yep. by his semblance being exactly. purely around Aura itself. Aura yeah. itself, yeah. And and the reason that I get excited about that is that yes, there could be the issue of like, okay, now will anyone die? But that also right. means that since they will since the danger of their battles has basically been escalated and Jean's yeah. semblance is a way to meet that new new, new threat. threshold, mm -hmm. right? If Jean is ever not present, oh, then that means, yeah. and and see, that's where I feel like right. we could get some really cool development for Jean because yeah. now he's like, I have to be there for everybody. I have to be everywhere, which and, is not possible. Which is just not possible, right? So they'll be able to have people die when they're just not around Jean McPlot relevance, right? And that will just be a thing. You could say he's coming towards a conclusion of a point in his arc, right about now. No, his arc is just beginning. <laughs> his arc has just begun. Yeah. So uh, uh, with with the fights escalating like mm -hmm. they did and getting segued into different specific spots. Yep. Um, uh, Hazel, <laughs> Hazel full on Bane hulked out yep. there. Yep. He, he he did. He he did. We had indeed. heard in a world of Remnant a long time ago in like Volume Two, I think it was. Oh, that people using dust to become right because they were talking about dust being put into clothes, and they was like, so "There's some people that even merge dust with their own body, yeah, which yeah. is very dangerous." Uh huh. Yeah. And they talked about there having some volatile results based around doing yep. that. Yep. And I remember someone in the community a while back was looking at Hazel's scars here. Oh. And they were like, "What is that?" Are those self-inflicted? Is there a potential? I remember, I don't know who it was, but someone said, could he be putting dust into his arms at that point? And that's why he's the super strength kind of Hulk character. Oh, I, 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 I didn't straight actually... Up, I straight up remember someone, I think it was on their Ruby Amino, um, posting something like that. I never picked up that those were scars. I thought that was just I like... I didn't either. I thought that was just like low either. detail hair. Like... Yes, yes, that is a that is a curse of watching a web series like this. You get um, confused you on some, some of the things, things. Um, yeah. some of the visuals. Yeah, right. So sometimes the the crackpot theories are fantastic, and mm -hmm. this one I am really happy about. And and because what who voices him? Sabat? Uh, no, no he no. does Watts. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. this is then I can't remember. Anyways, we can actually just look it up real quick. Yeah. Um. um but yeah, his voice actor just yeah did, just did an, killed an amazing it job. Oh, it yeah. was it was intense to it say was. the least. And and it was gold. Hazel dust. is William oh, Orendorf. Orendorf. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that, that makes sense for sure. Um, his part where he had his three Ozpins. Uh huh. Ozpin. Yeah. Ozpin. Yeah. 
husband and yeah, he yeah, like yeah. yells it out i'm like oh, oh yeah they, they, oh they, no they, they turned up the bass on his voice yeah <laughs> and and i like that the dust could some people could say it's just electric like lightning dust or something but, like that but we haven't seen but that color of dust it's before. yellow it's gold well it's gold yes like, but but one of the things that they also mentioned in that dust world mm-hmm. of remnant is that you can combine dusts to make new and more, you know, okay. more effective, more powerful sure. kinds. Yeah. And I think what he has is some combination of dusts, mm-hmm. you know, crystals that has the electric quality and has some other qualities as well. And he just straight up shoved them into like the backs of his elbows. Just, yep. just <laughs> Actually, I think they might have been more into the bicep. Yeah, kind of wherever it was, but but <laughs> holy crap. So 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 I I I am now realizing why uh Hazel was the one that I was always like, yep, no, that's the guy we need to be scared of. Right, I'm not exactly. scared of Watts. Yep. I'm not scared of Tyrion. It's always directly proportional to the deepness, deepness, of, their deepness of their voice. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A, that is a I mean for guys at least. Yeah, for, for, for guys. guy antagonists that's always yep. the case. So the right. Kyrie Kotamines of the world <laughs> and the Yep. Hazel uh, Reinhardt's of mm-hmm. the uh, yep. world, which, by the way, they snuck in a backstory to Hazel. They did, and uh, they've I'm never done they it that. that way before in Ruby. Oh, it's a like, casual kind of like little bit of throwing it out there exposition in, in the, the middle, middle of a fight. fight. Yeah, and they did it in the most like you know short expository kind right. of way. Yes. So they I did, wonder if this is an experiment by the writers to see like be. if this is a, a new way that they can handle exposition. Right. Well, and, and doing it like this is fine because they the way they did it, since it was so short, since it was so concise, and because they didn't actually leave the scene. Right. Right. Thank you. They, it Thank didn't you. cut the tension, right? It did. You still see this hulking, massive monster of a dude. Right. And they didn't do it as a during the fight thing. They had Crow step in to save exactly, Oscar at yep. that point. Yep. I love calling him Oscar. So if you hear my pronunciation, that's why I'm calling him because Oz. Oh, yeah. You know, get it. So it's like calling Bakugo Bakugo. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. But when he told him about the sister, I thought that we were going to find out mm-hmm. that his sister was a maiden. Yep. Or, Cause, cause, or potentially yeah. even just someone that was a, you know, a, a silver-eyed... Silver-eyed warrior. Silver-eyed yeah. warrior or something. And then mm-hmm. before she could even go on any kind of mission yep. to help, you know, fight against Salem, she was going to get, like, sure. killed by Grimm or yep. something. And... and and, and that's... You remember Hazel's line? No one needed to die today? Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, now we know now, why. Exactly. Now exactly. we know why. It's, and we, we, we were like, oh, that, that line actually says more about his character rather oh, yeah. than this particular oh, yeah. right. scene. Absolutely. In when, uh, yeah. when, Adam killed, when Adam killed the White Fang leader. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sienna Khan. Sienna Khan. Oh, your character design will be missed. <laughs> it will be missed. Um, but now we have another death on the... On the list as well. Uh, we we do. Vernal we do. dead now. Now Vernal was like just introduced this volume, you know. So so she wasn't like yeah. She was not a a main main character like it. Uh, like, no no I agree. But the but the the tension of that scene of us thinking yes. oh my god like right, the spring maidens dead. Well yeah because you see it coming like you know you're like okay and Cinder's going to kill her in five four three two you know now <laughs> yeah. now and the, but then it's like. Okay, no, she is actually dead. But and then, then you think, okay, now the Spring Maiden powers aren't going to go to you, Cinder. They're going to go to Raven. Raven, because she cares more about Raven than she does about you. Of course, yeah. So, so Raven's the one in her last thoughts. But then it's like, oh, no, no. She, she, she wasn't even a maiden at all. <laughs> she wasn't even a maiden in the first place, which makes me wonder, like, she must have been a really crazy fighter then, even, you know, though she wasn't a maiden, because she was totally destroying Weiss. Uh, well, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, and it almost makes me kind of laugh at the line of where uh, Vernal mm-hmm. is told by Raven, "Take care of the heiress. Don't waste your power on her. She's not worth it." There's actually like so uh-huh. many little meta references oh, yeah. within that because yep. it's basically Raven solidifying the assumption of the audience right. that she is the mm-hmm. Spring Maiden, and and also saying giving an explanation for why there's not going to be some outburst of crazy maiden powers but then we also can yeah. be left to guess like wait what was vernal's semblance even like we don't uh, know sure. well like what yeah. if what if vernal's semblance was just to call down a lightning bolt like <laughs> that was it like it could have actually been vernal doing the lightning bolt 
and not you know sure. even though that is kind of an elemental spring maiden power kind but, of but thing. But it could be a semblance. It like, could be a semblance. Yeah. We don't know, but we'll never know what Vernal's semblance <laughs> was because yep. she's dead. And I like that, although you know Rooster Teeth has now got two newly introduced you know season Death female characters. characters that you know were killed you know before they could really do uh -huh. too much yeah um they were all all so both supposed to be really powerful but right. then you don't actually see them really like fight yeah yeah and and i i think i th i think this might be might be a little bit of a stretch but both of their development was to help set up the, the edge lord <laughs> with the very long nodachi sword <laughs> I'm just saying, there's some similarities here yeah, I that mean, are pretty tough yeah. to uh, deny. Yeah, just uh, just a little just, bit just, too tough. But just a I, bit. to be fair, uh -huh. I don't care. Vernal, oh, yeah. I yeah. rest in peace. But Raven, yep. uh, you have been yep. the anti-hero third party yes. uh, faction leader, and, and I want you right. to make and, it through this volume and be interesting. Absolutely. Well, and and here's the thing, because Raven yeah. up till now. I didn't really care about her too much. I cared about oh, really? her before because her buildup was so good, right? For oh, conversations okay. with Crow. I and, see what you're saying. And now the whole conversation of like, if you know where the Spring Maiden is, tell us. <laughs> and why <laughs> would I do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about someone stronger. And she's like, there is me, no dude. one stronger. Right. <laughs> Are you just gonna get that person who can stop me? What's his name again? Michael Mc doesn't, doesn't exist. You know. Here's another crazy thought. At what point did she become the Spring Maiden? Yep, that is an excellent because question. Because Crow didn't know. Right. So we can assume that Ozpin didn't yep. know. Oh, maybe maybe when she left, when she left Taiyang, mm -hmm. she was actually doing that to become the Spring Maiden. I think that there was something in her, something something in her story. Mm -hmm. To where she, because, hold on, hold on. This is actually a very good thing to clarify here. Mm -hmm. The Spring Maiden power yeah. probably doesn't give her the ability to use portals. No, that was her semblance. But we don't know for a fact that that's her semblance. Uh, n no, we do, and here's how. Mm -hmm. How? Because Crow knew about it. and they Because they were brothers and sisters, so unless she's she was the Spring Maiden all along and she you're didn't actually right, take the right. spring maiden powers you're from right. somebody you're then right. that means that that is her actual semblance which is kind of ridiculous no no no, no but i i mean yes I, I i agree i don't think they're gonna do any more redactive type twists where they uh, kind of sure. go back and reinform us on things that we assumed were true because right. they'd spent so much time with yang talking about how mm -hmm. her semblance yep. you know yep was a specific way. You're right, you're right. Um, so, no. But, but either way. But either way. Like, yeah. Because I, now she actually has mm -hmm. the ability to back up her talk. Because before, uh, I didn't yeah. really care about Raven as much from what we saw in this volume. Because it seemed to be that her her power was basically just that Vernal trusts me. You know? And that Vernal's on my side. So what well, can you do? And I mean, yes, she she's awesome and she could go up against Crow in a fight and all that stuff. I mean, she's Raven after all. But, but you're talking about power, and you're, then you're you're si you're talking about why you didn't like a character, and then you started describing her power, like uh, her effectiveness. It's well, you're right, because the the it's not necessarily because of the power, but it's because of the competence. When someone basically says that I can do this like better than anyone else, and and mm -hmm. I'm the like and you know my way is the best and all that, and they strike right. out, and they're basically doing a very selfish, in, independent type thing. You want them to at least be able to back up those words right you don't want them to go all be confident and do their do their thing that they think is best sure. and then completely utterly fail at it because they're they're just they're betting against basically ozpin and all the, the people that are with him the world yeah because she's betting against salem and ozpin uh right exactly so yeah but it, i think i think her having the spring maiden was the same thing though jacob because what we what we saw more than anything was the potential for a relationship that would rival what um, kind of the crow ruby relationship was. Sure, it was basically the the pseudo family, you know. Yeah, and I know crow yeah. and ruby are actually family, and I'm mm -hmm. not trying to suggest the crow father ruby right, daughter right. theory, yeah. but I'm saying that Vernal is what Yang could have been. If, sure. If 
you know, if there was that, right. you know, that connection there. And I think more, more likely than not, the reason why Raven has this kind of twisted mm -hmm. against the world kind of personality is that both Salem and Ozpin, who mm -hmm. didn't know that she was the Spring Maiden, would have tried to do everything in their power to use her as a weapon for their cause, essentially. Uh, sure. Assuming and, she hadn't left before she became but, but Spring no, Maiden. No, no, but no, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. no. There, there are other reasons why she left, but mm -hmm. the reason why she never came back right. yeah. is because yep. of that, I think. And that's right. that ties into the song Sacrifice, I think, pretty well. Sure. There's a lot of things yeah. that tie into the song Sacrifice. It's one yep. of my favorite story songs. It's certainly one of the most plot relevant. It's very plot relevant, yeah. 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 But if she's the Spring Maiden and her and Cinder are duking it out, but Cinder has this grim arm, I think that tilts things in Raven's favor. Oh, yeah. Don't, yeah. don't you agree? Like, oh, absolutely. Because, yeah. because Vernal, her character and everything, it's like, awesome, that's great. The the whole idea of the relationship between her and Raven, it's like, yeah, that's very exciting. Yeah. But she seems like, okay, this person's going to die. Like, like right this person is going to die the fact that raven has the spring maiden powers actually basically means that that's something that's still in play it's not going to immediately right. get stolen by the forces of salem right but but it my, could my problem is is that if cinder goes down mm -hmm. all the scales get tilted into raven's favor right and then that will mean that we will essentially be closer to having three balanced sides in this conflict right but what if what if the bad guys lose okay mm-hmm and, you know, they end up running away with, yeah. you know, whatever they got. Maybe Adam gets captured or something. Sure. Raven makes off with the relic. Yeah. Salem gets super pissed at oh, Cinder. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. super pissed. One yep. of the things I'm very worried about now is uh, Jacob and I have championed the uh, Cinder, Cinder kind Suku of... alone, Cinder alone, yeah. Yeah, exactly. The, mm -hmm. the redemption arc thing. I think that this volume is going to end with Cinder being cast out. That... Like, Almost, almost, like, not necessarily cast out, mm -hmm. but in terms of the inner circle respect thing. Oh, yeah. Salem might mm -hmm. have some things to some say problems. about that. Well, okay, okay, no, because here's the thing. Yeah. It's not just the fact that, um, that the relic was stolen, but they will also have the news that Ozpin is alive. Well, well no, Salem already knew that. Well, okay. Salem knew that. But... Well, come on, come on, Jacob. Sure. She knows what... She Ozpin knows is. what Ozpin's power is yes. as well. That's why she was wanting to make sure she killed him. And then she's like, okay, you did. Good. That means he's out there somewhere and he's weak. And he's, you know, he's not reformed yet probably. Sure. So she's like, wait, now now what's your next plan? That was when she had that little interrogation bit, which also teased uh, the grim arm. I, I guess I'm telling you totally guys, did. the grim arm was a yep. thing like a long, yep. long time mm -hmm. ago. But um, we, this might also tell us a little bit about why Salem lets, like this is just confirming, why Salem lets Cinder have all this power. Because uh, one, the sure. relics are more powerful, but two, right. uh, I think Salem can reclaim this Grim at any point that she uh, wants. Sure. But I get the feeling she can't actually use the maiden powers. Salem? Yeah. We don't know that. I mean, maybe. maybe. Yeah. But if then... Raven can, I think, I think, I think one of the things that we... We had a lot of people in the fandom assuming why Raven couldn't become the Spring Maiden potentially is because she's a little bit older, mm -hmm. and we you know know that the power passed along to young women. Mm -hmm. But see, the thing is, is that young is Cinder a very yeah young is a loose term, but mm -hmm. also that was when the Maiden dies. So we're talking about transferring, but it's more so about the oh. woman that's in their finer thoughts, not the young woman that's in her final thoughts. And because sure. then mm -hmm. Crow makes the joke of unless it's a dude or some old hag. Right. And the power goes to someone random. So mm -hmm. this falls in line with that. Yeah. Because we don't know the circumstances as to how Raven got the Spring Maiden powers. Right. But they did establish that the Spring Maiden was young and and like basically headstrong. Right. And, and, and went Raven. off on their own. And, well, that fits Raven, right, which, it, yeah. yeah, so it, it totally could have been Raven, but it also could be that Raven basically was like, oh, sweet, they're inexperienced, you know. Yeah. I can work with that. I, you know? I hope that uh, I hope that we don't find out that Raven is the original Spring Maiden's I killer. hope not. 
Oh, oh, okay. I you know. I hope that's what it is. Actually. Oh, you do hope that's <laughs> yeah. what it is. Yeah, and she's because, like, "You're not strong. I right. am strong." Because because it, yeah, are... because the idea is that with the with the ideologies that Raven has and things like that, mm -hmm. they make for good rhetoric, which seems to be do. most of what she did mm -hmm. in the camp. Yes, right? yes. So she makes about a lot of rhetoric. So yeah. now I want to see that stuff put into action, and since she is actually a maiden, right she'll be able to very clearly put it into action. It makes a lot more sense why she believes in the strong rule and all that stuff or whatever. Right. Because what, she's a maiden. What if Cinder wins? If Cinder wins... Well, basically, Raven what if could Cinder... could run away to Patch. What if Cinder gets the relic, is my okay. point. Like, say, say it's more of a fight that Cinder is losing, but Cinder gets the relic itself and then uses it. Gotcha. Like, is there is no there a Cinder alone story then? Yeah, I I almost am putting this at like an 80 20. I'm betting Raven's gonna win. Like, yeah, I, I'd say that's about fair. Maybe 70 30, but yeah. 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 Because Raven's had the power for way longer. Right. And here's way the. Way longer. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And here's the other thing Raven has a way to escape, right? Huh. If she gets huh. the relic, she that's can immediately true. portal out of there. Well, even, to even who? If it, to patch probably <laughs> well that that is that is a thought like, and i've always been wondering when she would do that and i think that this would be the time that would be really cool to have raven's words be kind of rubbed in her face of family always coming around when you need something but raven yep. comes out of the portal she's bloodied beaten uh -huh. yep yep but she has the relic she, but but here's the but thing she needs tai yang to and, help her and tai won't necessarily know that it's the relic he might not necessarily know that relics are a thing. Uh, no. Tai Yang is in the know. Okay. I, I'll bet you I'll well, bet you anything. Okay, sure. Tai Team Yang Stark. is in the know. All right, all right. Tai yeah. Yang's probably in the know. But he won't know that she's a maiden. No, that's, that's very so, true. That's and very she true. will keep that hidden from him for 95% yeah. sure, which will make for some very cool interactions. <laughs> because anytime one yeah. party knows something and the other doesn't, you can do some cool things mm -hmm. with that. Yep. <laughs> oh man but there's two episodes left uh, yes. so they don't have to have everything just be a maiden throwdown nope they they have plenty of time to resolve things yeah they have to resolve also the fact that now the good guys have the advantage up top until yep. adam and the white fang actually do something right exactly which is well until adam and the white fang actually do something but then blake and menagerie force right. are going to be coming in which will I think we're gonna get the good guy win here. I think we are. And I think we are. And guys, and there can be there can be a thing where no one really comes out on top, and I think that's also very likely. But I feel like when we look at the general thing of who lost, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna end up with a Cinder lost. Sure. And it's that's going to extend out to Cinder's other areas. going to have a fall from Salem's graces. Yep. And uh, Adam won't necessarily uh, get out of this unscathed. He might get shish kebabbed on his own sword. I'm just saying. That would be nice. Through the anus up through the mouth, you know. Like, I mean, I don't see why not. I, 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 I am all there is for... I'm all for the cruel, unusual suffering of the most universally hated character yep. in the Ruby fandom, but but I'm also a fan of having characters not get, be ended right here. Yeah, yeah, get get kind of a proper like slow right. ending. That, yeah, that's true. That's true. They don't have enough time to do proper justice to Adam right here. Right. So so, so if anything, having him captured and having them really like glare at him and be like or, oh we're we're going to or just have adam have to run away well i want him to be shamed that's that's what i'm thinking i want him to be and broken this is i don't care about his physical i don't care about his physical body being hurt in any way oh, i'm like mm. that yeah forget that no i want him to be physically hu i would not no i want him to be <laughs> mentally and emotionally humiliated by uh people and his actions and everything being laid bare mm -hmm. basically having him his mask ripped off uh -huh. and having him be made vulnerable for the world to see him for what he really right. is because that's that's yeah. i'd say more powerful and it also yes. I'm, I'm 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 a sucker uh -huh. for these things but i feel like even adam even adam could potentially you know be of some use i've got kind of the gandalf approach of okay things. It's the idea of... I'm thinking more of Zula. I know, I know, I know. But uh, Gandalf mm -hmm. is the kind of person who would, you know, say mercy on Smeagol. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, Smeagol 
is really the cause of all the problems, mm -hmm. but he ends up being uh, one of know, the solutions. One of the solutions to the whole problem itself. Yeah, nah. But let's not. But I, I'm just saying, if mm -hmm. if they're not going to give it to Cinder, I think they give yeah. it to Adam. And if they're not going to give it to Adam, then they're going to give it to Cinder. Right. And I, I, I agree yeah. that they don't necessarily have to do both. That would be right. a bit much. That that would be a bit much. Right. Now now okay. Here's, so here's can, something. Can I, can I just so, ask the people yeah. in the comments? Sound off in the comments. Who would you rather have a redemption arc for, Cinder or Adam? You have to choose one. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'm serious. Okay. Like, a answer in the comments. I'm, I'm right. curious. I think it might be a little bit skewed, but. <laughs> well, I, I think it might be a little bit It'll skewed, be but I think that because of what's happened with Cinder more recently, there she'll might be, be more, more people being score. like, no, she'll she'll be you know a little bit more uh, yeah wanting so to with, have some pain dished out upon her with regards, yeah, with to, regards adam, to weiss with regards to adam yeah here's something i thought of okay adam promised to i will take away everything i will destroy everything you love you so know? petty blah, blah, blah. Um, so petty so full of spite so so edgelord and all yeah. that well what if it basically ended up being the reversal where instead it's just that his entire world, everything, you know, his yeah. his illusions of grandeur, delusions yeah. of grandeur, um, just no, that's, crumble. All yeah, that's him. what I that's what I mean. Is and that, it can start here with him getting completely defeated and needing to just. Uh, run. yes, yes. Like I, I 100% agree. Like I would love to see him, basically alone. The, he's not he the White Fang doesn't follow him anymore, and now he's just some random crazy dude out in the wilderness, you know, going yeah, around. But I think he could find more followers if. He was left alone. Sure, and yeah, that's that's kind of a problem. I don't want to have a Saruman type thing where <laughs> I was just thinking we kick, about we that. kick him out of the tower and uh -huh. then he runs to Hobbiton and it's yeah, like, sorry guys, that wasn't in the movie, so a bunch of you might not know what we're talking yeah, yeah. about, but, but whatever. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, but I wouldn't mind to see Adam get peppered by like fifty bowmen, like from like a distance. Just, just I mean, there there are so many thing. things that the Kruby can do with uh, with Adam's downfall. Yeah. It's, it will be amazing to see. We should do like a poll of like, <laughs> what type of like defeat or end do you want to see for Adam's character? Evisceration, incineration. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Um. So with Ozpin and Hazel, Do fighting, out. and then Oscar being in the mix here. Uh huh. I I hope they're not doing this, but. This is the formula for setting up a side character death. Hazel was just given some rough, quick little backstory Ooh. exposition. Okay, yeah, that's a that is he a, is a he is a dragon uh -huh, of uh -huh. sorts yep. for yep. Oscar's character. Oh, yep. Oscar hasn't had a win since he was introduced. That's really. true. He he really has only been uh, interacting with characters and hasn't really come under any right. huge conflict yet. So maybe some conflict internally, but right. this is an external realization of yeah his problems basically. Right, because stuff that Ozpin mm -hmm. is going to drag out in front of him and say like, "No, you have to deal yes. with this now slightly because sorry, I did stuff in the past." Uh huh. Now, right, because Hazel's almost certainly going to lose here. He's 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 yeah not after pretty much some all damage. alone. He really hurt Crow though. He he, he did. He yeah. did. Right. Um, and I think it'll be something where both sides will pull away from it very, very much wounded. Right. Um, but then with the bad guys not having gotten their, their goals, right? Right. Um, yeah. And of course, if if Ruby and Yang don't just destroy Mercury and Emerald, right. they'll probably skedaddle once they realize what a bad spot Cinder's in. Um, yeah, that's but, true. But as for Hazel, that is a great point because they really have built him up to be this sort of rule of cool, you know. No don't... one needed to die today. Exactly, man of few words, but yep. you know, but they totally just steal the spotlight when he when he says them. So I really hope that the way he gets defeated, yeah, still doesn't makes, steal his rule of cool. doesn't steal his rule of cool because right. he he really is cool as the ancient. Well, we don't know whatever how old he, he is. is. Right, but he's a person from Ozpin's past, so he's at least kind of old. Well, yes, I, I like the idea that him injecting dust into him is the thing like, that's has him kept him alive, him, keeping him alive a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But we we shouldn't assume anything about age, about time, basically, in the world of Remnant. Sure, I, I think yeah. that's yeah, that's where we can get a little bit off base mm -hmm. and make too many specific assumptions. It's the point right. that yes, he's from his past. Mm -hmm. But they gave him all the setup to where to they die. could now kill him. Yeah. 
And I'm just saying, we if, now have if they, if we now they, have yeah. Ruby back in action in the mix. I know. We don't have anyone that can really counter her. Uh, Emerald yeah. and Mercury are kind of outmatched, I would oh, say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the problem with Emerald is that... She's in a two-on-two fight. She's on a two-on-two two fight. Do? She can maybe yeah. immobilize one. Right, but then but she can't handle the other. Right, yeah. and then Mercury has to be good enough to potentially defeat two of them. Right, and I'm pretty sure Yang in a one-on-one -on -one fight would beat Mercury. Uh, like, yes. I think that Mercury's a really good, really good fighter. Mm-hmm. But I feel like well, also the fact that he is a good fighter doesn't really change the fact that this is the Ruby show. So, yeah, there's a little bit of mm -hmm. comeuppance that needs to happen exactly. you know, sometime soon. Right. And, because, yeah. And, and right. oh, and then Ren and Nora are going to jump into the mix. Weiss mm -hmm. is eventually going to be maybe 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 Weiss won't be in the mix, but she'll be at the very least not someone that everyone has to worry about. You know? Right. Yeah. And then the tides change. Blake arrives. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, this could this could go very well for the good guys. It it could indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but who's gonna come out on top? We don't know. Probably the good guys. Yeah, yeah, probably. All right, guys. Well, this is a lot of fun. Uh, I guess we'll see you in the next one. We're gonna try mm -hmm. to make sure that this one doesn't get blocked again, like right. all the other ones. Uh, I've got a got a strategy to make sure that that'll happen. Hopefully. But yeah, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you in the chapter thirteen reaction. Mm -hmm. But until then, we're semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.